worship experience. Today's word is a word that I really wrestled over preaching because uh, a lot of times when you speak of um, sowing seed and giving in the church, it uh, sometimes offends the people. And by no means do I ever want to offend God's people. However, our churches in this season, not just Glory Church, but many churches, many of my friends who are pastors, many of my friends who are bishops have expressed the fact that the churches are struggling and we're struggling because, well, we are in virtual church, which means everybody's not coming in person to the church. And as a result of everybody not coming in person at the church, the giving has has disappeared. Um, we're, we're, our churches are finding it very difficult to function because the giving has not been as present as it would have been if we were actually physically in church. And so today I just want to talk about um, giving to God's house and, and, and being a blessing to God's house. The word of Haggai, uh, the first chapter, talks to us about the people not finding the house of God as a priority. Your house is a priority. God's house is a priority. And there must be a balance that's created between your house and God's house. Your house is where you get rest. God's house is where you get blessed. So somehow, some way, we got to figure out how to balance and see to it that no house goes lacking. There is a way to see to it that no house goes lacking. Tune in with me with the word, what about the Lord's house? Hallelujah. And I praise you, Lord. You are my strength and my reward. I'm lost without you. Your love brought me through. My life is available to you. And I praise you, Lord. You are my strength and my reward. I'm lost without you. Your love brought me through. My life is available to you. And I pray. to you and I praise you Lord you are my strength and my reward I'm lost without you your love brought me through my life is available to you Thank you for joining us. Let's give them a praise. I'm lost without you. Your love brought me through. My life is available to you. strength and my reward I'm lost without you your love brought me through my life is available my life is available to you
is empty my storage is empty my storage is empty my storage is empty my storage is empty is empty my storage is empty my storage is empty my storage is empty I'm available my storage is empty I'm available, my storage is empty My storage is empty I'm available, my storage is empty I'm available, my storage is empty My storage is empty My storage is empty Y'all remember that My storage is empty I'm available My storage is empty My storage is empty Lord, I'm available to you. My will I give to you. I'll do what you say do. Use me, Lord. To show someone the way And enable me to say Come on, let's drive it Hey! My storage is empty My storage is empty Storage is empty. My storage is empty. You can have your way in my life. Y'all say it with me. You can have your way in my life. You can have your 
way in my life use me for your service jesus you can have your way in my life and i praise you I wish I could say, I'm lost without you. Your love brought me through. My life is available to you. Hallelujah. I'm available to you, Jesus. Have your way in my life, Jesus. Have your way in my life, Lord. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Pure and holy. Tried and true, and with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary, Lord, Lord, for you, Lord, prepare me to be. A living sanctuary, tried and true, and with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary. Yes, Lord. Let the double horse and the Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My soul says yes. My mind says yes. My heart says yes. My spirit says yes. Yes, Lord. I'm available to you. Tell the double horse and the other Bahia. And I praise you, Lord. You are my strength and my reward. I'm lost without you. Your love brought me through. My life is available. My life is available. Onamo, etanama, itanda, okota da macha. My life, ena na mahaya. Oh God, my life, Jesus, it's available. It's available. It's available. I'm a willing vessel. Have your way in my life. Use me, Lord. However you see fit, my life. Jesus. Ona masaya. Ota na mohoshandiye. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Your will, God. Not my will. Your will, Lord. Not my will. Take me out of my own consciousness. Take me out of my own willingness. Have your way in my life, Jesus. And I'll say yes.
and I'll say yes Lord yes to your will and to your way I'll say yes Woo! I'm drunk in the Holy Ghost right now I will trust you and obey when your spirit speaks to me with my whole heart I agree let's go and my answer will be yes Lord yes tell him yes tell him yes I got a yes in my spirit yes Lord Yes, Lord. We thank the Lord on today. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. There's a few of you that are here with us in the in, in the actual sanctuary. I just wish that y'all would give them a praise right now. Clap your hands and tell them yes. We bless the Lord on today. We honor the Lord. I thank you for joining us. Those of you who are watching us virtually, I thank God for you joining us on today. It is my prayer that you feel the same anointing and the same spirit while you are at home it's my prayer that you feel this same anointing that is in this atmosphere it is my prayer that you also feel it at home however it is also my prayer that you really don't feel it and you desire to get here on a sunday because there's something different here so i'm kind of caught in betwixt and between because i wish you was here but i know what you're doing but i thank god for those of you that have joined us per that have joined us actually and those of you who have joined us virtually again i thank the lord on yesterday we was able to go to all of the members houses those that requested us to come we went to at least eight to ten houses and even some jobs and gave oil and gave communion thank the lord for deacon isaac deacon haddock and deacon Irvin being with me on yesterday today we spent the entire day delivering oil and communion to the people of God and I thank God for it. there's a few more homes that I have to get to I'll probably get to them sometime during this week some of you have asked me to just place it on the doorstep because you don't want the COVID but I ain't got it y'all ain't saying nothing to me I, I ain't got it I ain't I promise you I ain't got it is 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 it and I've been around it I've been around it but I ain't got it 
because I remember before we left this church, before they closed the churches down, I preached it, it will not come nigh my dwelling. I wish I had a witness in here. You ought to just tap yourself wherever you are and say, it won't come near my house. It won't come near my house. And so I thank you, deacons. Thank God for our overseer designate Haddock. She is home on today. I have heard from you. I bless God for you. I know that you're watching. We praise God for Deacon Isaac being with us on today. Deacon Delano always here. We bless God. Elder Tiana is with us. We thank the Lord for my daughter. Amen. We praise God. And the Kenya that showed up to church today. Amen. We bless God for missionary Yvonne and our nurse Sonia now let's thank God for Jesus I see sister Lord as let's thank God for sister thank God for Jesus we bless God thank the Lord sister Lord as you got here before I was done preaching you got here before I started preaching we bless God for you hey God the word of the Lord in the book of hey God it is right after Zephaniah the word of the Lord in the book of hey God h-a-g-g-a-i hey God the word of the Lord real quickly I don't want to be labor your patience but we thank God for Wednesday night, our apothecary service, and the Lord blessing us and us being able to mix the oil, amen, and uh, we bless God. There was a word in the house. Uh, you ought to type it in the comments and just say, there's still oil in the house. There's still, shando. Somebody ought to holler, there's still oil in the house. I know, I know, I know we are in a pandemic and I know that they tell us to be socially distant and I know that they tell us that many of us can't gather the way that we are used to gathering but I got news for the devil you might try to take me out of God's house but there's still oil in the house hey God, hey God chapter number one Verses. I'm going to read it extensively throughout the entire chapter and uh, it is only 15 verses and then I'm going to give you my topic. I'm going to preach what I need to preach to you and then I'm going to drive to Connecticut with Archbishop Figueroa. He has, we have some business to handle out there. In the second year of Darius the king, in the sixth month, in the first day of the month came the word of the Lord by Haggai, the prophet unto Zerubbabel, the son of Sheatil, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Yoshadek, the high priest, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, This people say, The time is not come. The time that the Lord's house should be built. Then came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet saying, is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your sealed houses and this house lie waste? Now therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Ye have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye are clothed, ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Go up to the mountain and bring wood and build the house and i will take pleasure in it and i will be glorified saith the lord ye looked for much and lo it came to little and when ye brought it home i did blow upon it why saith the lord of hosts 
because mine house that is waste and ye run every man unto his own house therefore the heaven over you is stayed from dew and the earth is stayed from her fruit and i called for a drought upon the land and upon the mountains and upon the corn and upon the new wine and upon the oil and upon that which the ground bringeth forth and upon men and upon cattle and upon all the labor of the hands then Zerubbabel the son of Sheatil and Joshua the son of Yoshedek the high priest with all the remnant of the people obeyed the voice of the Lord their God and the words of Haggai the prophet as the Lord their God had sent him and the people did fear before the Lord then spake Haggai the Lord's messenger to the Lord's in the Lord's message unto the people saying I am with you saith the Lord and the Lord stirred up the spirit of Zerubbabel the son of Sheatil governor of Judah and the spirit of Joshua the son of Yoshedek the high priest and the spirit of the remnant of the people and they came and did work in the house of the Lord of hosts, their God, in the fourth and twentieth day of the sixth month, in the second year of Darius. And just want to highlight again this scripture where it says, Ye have so much, and bring it, bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink but ye are not filled ye drink with drink ye clothe you but there is none warm and he that earneth wages earneth wages to put it into bags with holes thus saith the lord of hosts consider your ways fourth verse is it time for you to o ye to dwell in your sealed houses and this house lie waste and i want to talk to you from the subject what about the lord's house what about the lord's house just type that in the comments talk to somebody next to you and ask them what about the lord's house hey guy just to give you a little historicity of this particular text and this prophet hey guy being one of the minor prophets i pray that this lower third is underneath there with the sermon topic the 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 one of the minor prophets hey guy was a prophet of the restored remnant uh, after 70 years of Babylonian captivity, the circumstances are detailed in Ezra and Nehemiah concerning this captivity. To hearken, to hearten or rebuke and instruct that feeble and divided remnant was the task of Haggai. Haggai had the daunting ministry of having to prophesy a word of rebuke to a people who were restored from captivity while they believe that all is well and while they have a mentality or mindset that captivity is over they are now at the place where they are content and they are hallelujah satisfied they're satisfied because they no longer have to be under captivity to the babylonians they are satisfied because they have a sense of freedom and liberation and as a result, Charles, they have gone into their homes and beautified their homes and lived however they want 
to live. Yet there was still an assignment that was commissioned to the people of God. The Babylonian captivity brought about the ruins of the Lord's temple, the Lord's house. When the Babylonians took hold of the people of God, they destroyed the house of God. And so now that the captivity Activity is over God is looking for not only a restoration of the people but he is also looking for a restoration of his house it is not right and here's what the Lord says this is his mindset God says I brought you out of captivity I've allowed you to live past the worst of circumstances for your people and now you have gotten indignant and you forget about the fact that there must be a place where you all gather to worship me you say I can worship the God Jehovah in my homes this is the mentality of the people now that they've made it through the captivity I can worship at home I can worship at my job okay I'll give it to you in layman's terms or bring it to 2021 for you as we are on our way there I brought you through the worst of the season of COVID-19 and now your mentality is I can praise God at home I can worship virtually I can watch this service today and then watch another service the next day and as a result you're forgetting the fact that the Lord's house is still of importance no I am not putting a precedence on the four walls because there is ministry that still must be done outside of the four walls there is ministry that still must be accomplished outside of the four walls hallelujah but there is still the necessity for a place where we come to to give God worship to give God praise to bring him sacrifice to give him offerings to give him the glory David said I was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the Lord you say is the church is attending the church really that important and I say when Jesus himself was only a little lad and his mother and Joseph went searching all over for him they found him in his father's house and he said why are you looking for me would you not know that I would have been in my father's house if church was good enough for Jesus then surely the house of the Lord is good enough for you somebody ought to clap their hands and tell the Lord thank you for the church David said one thing have I desired of the Lord and that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord forever we have talked over the period of this last seven months eight months of how God wants to reorchestrate the church we have talked over this last eight months about how there are certain things that were going on in the church that were not as important as we made it we have repented for, uh, for prioritizing our own will 
over the will of God. The pandemic was a sign. The pandemic was somewhat of a symbol or a type of the Babylonian captivity that we experience in this here Bible this here pandemic locked us in our houses took away jobs stripped people of finances broke up families y'all ain't saying nothing to me cause I'm to turn on others this pandemic I would beg to say was a type of the captivity but I hope somebody out here and somebody out there in virtual land would agree with me when I say we're on our way out I need somebody to type it in the comments and say we're on our way out we're on our way out and as we come out of this pandemic there has been a fear and there has been a a scare that has taken place amongst the people where they're saying even after the pandemic oh god people are not going to come back to the church okay now that is a very fearful thing because that would mean that people are becoming independently worshiping on their own and never gathering with the saints when the word of the Lord says forsake not the gathering together of the saints we come together to pull strength off of one another because I may be going through some hell but you might have the prayer spirit to pull me out of it you ought to look at somebody and tell them I like praising God at home but there is something about coming to the house of God that stirs my spirit when I come soon as my feet strike saying I feel God I dare somebody in here to holler I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord uh, hallelujah. Uh, and so now uh, these people, uh, the captivity is over. Uh, and now they have now decided uh, I'm going to prioritize uh, my house. Uh, I'm going to prioritize me. Uh, in hallelujah of the day terms, uh, they decided I'm doing me. Uh, I'll give when I feel like giving I'll sow when I feel like sowing yet they watch from afar the function of the house of God they watch their leaders labor and toil in the word they enjoy the music they turn glory to God their Facebook on and they wait for service to start and if the sound ain't right they complain and if it's too loud they complain and if the lighting ain't right they complain and and after they're done complaining they scroll up to somebody else's service and critique that service yet and still you haven't said nothing to the house that you said God assigned you to so now here's what the excuse is Bishop we're in a pandemic it's the same as saying now is not the time to build God's house I feel like preaching it's the same as saying now is not the season you see the text but the text says and the people say now 
is not the time to build God's house. Because we in a pandemic. Now is not the time to sow to the ministry because we in a pandemic. If you're watching, I want you to tag your pastor. If you remember here, you better listen closely. Now is not the time for us to pay our tithe. That's what they say because we are in a pandemic. But the word of the Lord came. Oh God, to Zerubbabel, ah, the son of Sheetiel. Zerubbabel was the governor of the people, and Joshua. The son of Yoshadak was the high priest of the people while they were in Babylonian captivity. Although they were captive, they still had favor and were still allowed to be governed within and still allowed to have a priest of their own. They did not have to subject themselves to the governance of Babylon. But they were allowed to be governed. I feel God in here. They were allowed to be governed. And so the word of the Lord comes to Haggai. And Haggai brings this word to Zerubbabel and to Joshua. And he says to them, then came the word. Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying this people who I brought out of Egypt, this people who I brought to the promised land, this people who I allowed to defeat the Midianites, this people who I gave power over the Amalekites, this people, y'all don't hear me, this people who crossed the red see and watch Pharaoh die this people who I fed with manna from heaven this people who I protected by a pillar of fire and a cloud this people let's ride it Charles this people who I gave everything I got this people who I gave the son of Abraham Isaac and Jacob he says this people who are able to call me whenever I need them whenever they need me he says this people who I brought out of the muck and miry this people whose children I saved this people whose families I died I restored this people I don't hear nobody in here oh God he says this people when he says this people he is angry when you look at the text he is aggravated this people he does not even address them as my people you heard him time and time again when he addressed the people of God he would always address them as my people you heard him when he said I shall be their God and they shall be my people but here in this text they go from being my people to this people because he's recognizing them as something different than the generation before captivity he says this people they're unappreciative this people they murmur and complain this people they have no idea how I've covered them this people who I've prepared a 
lamb in the heavens for this people I wish I had about 15 folk that would just scream right now and say Lord I'm sorry he says this this people they're wicked they're wretched and they're undone this people they say now is not the time to build God's house so then the Lord answers in response and says well then is it the time for you to run to your sealed homes while the house of the Lord lay a waste is it time for you to decorate your house while the house of the Lord lay a waste but Bishop we in a pandemic the house is where you been protected from the pandemic the house is where you've been covered from the pandemic if the service wasn't going on in this house the, the disease would have conquered your house is it somebody to point your hands at me and say bishop defend the house the house of the lord continues to function while all of us that are faithless running high in our house y'all ain't saying that payroll still got to be met lights still have to come on musicians still have to be paid and the very moment you don't do it you're looking at us like we crazy my question is is it yet time for you to think about the Lord's house type it in the comments what about the Lord's house I know your house is important my house is important but I got news for you I would not have my house if it wasn't for this house y'all don't hear me I wouldn't have peace in my house if it wasn't for this house at my house I get rest at this house I get blessed what about the Lord's What about the Lord's house? What about the Lord's house? What about the Lord's house? Why, ye people, why do you feel like it's okay to neglect the house of God when you still pray to the God of your salvation? Why do you feel like it's okay to muzzle the ox that will tread upon the corn for you? Why do you neglect the house that will christen your babies? Why do you neglect the house that will marry your children? Why? 
Do you neglect the house that will funeralize your cousin that don't even go here? Why do you feel like it's okay to neglect the house where the prayers are going up on your behalf? Why do you feel it's okay to neglect the house where the smoke of his glory yet remains? There's still oil in the house. What about the Lord's house? We're in a, a pandemic. I gotta put my money in the bank. I got news for you. If the bank was to fold, you're only insured for a certain amount. But the kingdom of God will never crash. The kingdom of God will never fold. And it will be given back to you. Press down, shaking together, running over in good measure. Be faithful over a few things, and I'll make you ruler over, over much. Whatever you sow, you shall reap. Weary in well doing for in due season you will reap if you faint not. What about the Lord's house? In the house. 
What about? What about? What about the Lord's house? Say what about the Lord's house? What about the Lord's house? The text says and I'm gonna quit cause um, I get nervous when you're preaching like this cause it can go one or two ways. People get frustrated with you and they think that you're just talking about money or the word of the Lord can convict them and they'll do better. It's not just about money. I don't hear nobody. It's not just about money. <clears throat> money helps. But whew, it's also about the God-given gift and ability that the Lord sowed into your life so that it would harvest and that it would harvest for the kingdom of God. But it can't be cultivated. Those gifts and those anointings and that oil that is in you won't be cultivated if you're not coming to the house to sit under leadership that will help to nourish those gifts and those anointings and those and those callings that are on your life and so they said here's what they said in the text on you they said now is not the time They said, now's not the time for us to build the Lord's house. Let me interpret that for you. For, for those of us who like it to be literal or those of us who need it to be specific or want clarity. Instead of me saying it in the King James Version, I'm going to say it in the Black Folk Version. It says, they said, now is not the time for us to build the Lord's house which is really translated my house is more important than the Lord's house you can take it however you want it but that's exactly what it says it says my house is more important than the Lord's house what baffles me JT is that as soon as chaos hits your house you run to the Lord's house as soon as all hell breaks loose in your house you run to the Lord's house you don't go to a psychiatrist you don't go to a therapist you don't go to a psychotherapist but the first place you come is to the Lord's house let a doctor give you a crazy diagnosis and the first place you come is to the Lord's house let your husband start beating you upside your head the first place you is to the Lord's house let your children get out there in the street the first place your call is the Lord's house what about He said, and I'm getting ready to dance. I'm going to shout. I'm going to dance simply because we still have the house. Nobody's saying nothing to me. I'm going to praise him because at least we still got the house. 
And, and what I'm glad about, what I'm glad about is this. Watch this. I'm getting ready to say something. And I pray, I pray that you don't get upset with me because I love you. But here's what I'm glad about. What I'm glad about, Sonia, is that the text says, the text says that, he says, he says, is it time, watch this, is it time for you to go into your sealed houses while this house lay a waste? And nobody could answer. And then he says, so as a result, I've shut up the heavens. I've caused the heavens not to release a dew. I've caused the animals not to prosper. I've caused the grass not to grow. But then the text says, after their hearts were convicted, Zerubbabel and Joshua, Zerubbabel and Joshua, the priest, their spirit was stirred. I need somebody in here to holler, my spirit is stirred. Now, let me tell you something. The only way your spirit will get stirred is if the house is really important to you. If the house ain't important to you, your spirit will not get stirred. If the house is important to you, the Bible says that their spirit was stirred and they began to work. And then the text says, the Lord spoke another word. And that word was, I am with you. He says, I am with you. Those of you who will not neglect the house those of you who said the house is important to me God told me to tell you I am with you with 
defend the house. Defend the house.
what I want you to do. If you're watching, listen, if you are watching and your church has a cash app, the Lord done put it in my spirit. I'm going to raise an offering for everybody's church right now. If you are watching and your church has a cash app, I want you to put the cash app in the comments. Glory, put our church, anybody that's from anybody else's church, I want you to put the cash app in the comments. The Lord said, what about my house? If you are watching and you are a member of somebody else's church, I want you to sow a seed into your church. Glory, if you members here, sow it here. But the Lord told me to break this lack spirit that the devil tried to drop in the house as a result of the pandemic. Don't you get off the organ like that, Charles and Dance. Uh. I need you show it. I need you show it.
Lord of praising him, y'all. I don't know. Wherever you are, I want you to praise God for your seven-day abundance. If you in the church, if you at home, I want you to start praising him right now. know if I'm coming or going right now. Get your communion ready, those of you that are watching. Listen, let me say this. I want you to type this in the comments. I want you to type it in the comments. Those of you that are here and you have Facebook and you're actually here, I want you to tune in. You got to turn your phone down so we don't get no feedback. But I want you to go to the Facebook and I want you to go to our live right now and I want you to type it something is breaking in my house if you are at home right now I want you to start walking through your house the Holy Ghost said something is breaking in your house Whatever it is that has been held up, God said is breaking right now. I want you to start typing it, and after you type it, I want you to put an exclamation point, and then put your phone down and go to dancing like it already happened. One, one, two, three.
What better time to take communion than in a praise? What better time to partake in the Lord's Supper than in a praise in the Lord's house? The body of our Lord Jesus, which was broken for you, take now and eat, eat and dance. Go to Charles, don't play with me. The blood of our Lord Jesus. This is the last communion for the year 2020. You've been through hell in 2020, and this is the last first Sunday. That the next 25 days of this year will symbolize breakout in your house. I want you to get the blood in your hand and I want you to drink it. The blood of our Lord Jesus which was broken for you Drink and dance. 